long before the nation was enthralled with the trial of the century and the Bronco chase, O.J. Simpson was leaving his imprint on the football field. During his 11-year NFL career, the Juice was the best running back of his generation, spending the most of his time with the Buffalo Bills. In addition to setting records in the NFL, he earned a national championship and the Heisman Trophy in college. However, Simpson's on-field achievements were eclipsed and his reputation was damaged by accusations that he murdered his ex-wife and her male companion in 1994. Despite being exonerated of murder charges, Simpson was ultimately held accountable for the killings in a different civil lawsuit. The news of Simpson's death on Thursday was met with a muted response due to his damaged legacy. The NFL, the Bills, and the San Francisco 49ers, where he spent his last two seasons playing, did not officially recognize him. In a statement released by the Pro Football Hall of Fame, President Jim Porter was quoted as saying, O.J. Simpson became the first player to surpass 2,000 yards, a rushing number that many believed was unachievable in a 14-game season. The Hall's archives in Canton, Ohio will preserve his on-field efforts. Simpson's name is still inscribed on the Bills' Wall of Fame, which circles Highmark Stadium, which was known as Rich Stadium when he was a player. When the Bills relocate to a new stadium that is scheduled to open across the street in 2026, it might all change in a few years. The team had previously petitioned by fans to have Simpson's name taken down from the wall. There aren't many other recollections of Simpson's playing days in Buffalo. Absent statues. Many of his buddies and teammates have passed away or moved away. We had a great relationship throughout, and we had a bumpy start together. Booker Edgerson, a former defensive back for the Bills, said to the AP, because he was well known. Additionally, he was simply ignorant of his own methods. He was a young man. He was unaware of the hardships faced by all the guys in professional football. He simply didn't respond to the veterans the way I believed he ought to have. Like, disdain and all that. However, once we got to know one another and everything, and after we eventually moved in together as roommates for a year, we had a great relationship from then on. Simpson didn't immediately live up to the hype and expectations of being the first overall draft pick after his success at USC. During his first three seasons with the Bills, he averaged 642 yards and four touchdowns, despite some people believing he would be a bust. Then, in 1972, Coach Lou Saban arrived, and that altered the course of Simpson's football career. Saban centered Buffalo's offensive scheme around Simpson's abilities. His breakthrough resulted from that. The 212-pound, 6'2 Simpson was more graceful than strong when running, but he could still bully through opponents to get an extra yard or two. Using his instincts to locate open space so he could use his speed to outpace the defenders into the end zone, he danced and juked, avoided and eluded tacklers. In Saban's debut year in Buffalo, Simpson amassed 1,251 yards and six touchdowns by rushing. He then had one of the best seasons in league history in 1973, when he won the NFL Most Valuable Player Award and ran for 2,003 yards and 12 touchdowns. Simpson's record of 143.1 yards rushing per game still remains. He achieved that incredible number in 14 games. Simpson's greatest season overall was 1975, and he went on to surpass 1,000 yards in the following three seasons. That year, he had 426 yards receiving and seven additional touchdowns in addition to 1,817 yards and 16 touchdowns rushing. In 1977, Simpson's season was cut short due to a knee injury, and he concluded his career in his hometown of San Francisco. The Pro Football Hall of Fame inducted the five-time All-Pro in 1985. He was a regular on television at that point, working as a pitchman, actor, and football expert. When Simpson debuted in a Hertz commercial in 1975, a horde of sports fans recognized him as the ex-player who ran through airports in three-piece suits, clutching a briefcase and dodging barricades to get to the rental counter where he would pick up his car. Simpson got his start in acting while attending USC. After leaving the NFL, he co-starred in a number of films and had several appearances in television series. 
After the murder accusations, his formerly bright on-screen career was terminated, along with everything else. As a rookie with the Bills during Simpsons' record-breaking season, Hall of Fame guard Joe DeLamiella played a significant role in The Electric Company, an offensive line that paved the way for Simpson to run wild. By the time DeLamiella met Simpson, the senior players, including Edgerson, had helped him navigate his way and helped him grow as a teammate. DeLamiella told the AP, Even back then, he was like a star to us. Even then, he was considered an icon. To tell you the truth, though, he was never arrogant. In practice, he put in a lot of labor. He was just one of those men that seemed to be larger than life. But he socialized with everyone. Extremely respectful of the offensive line and humble toward football players because he is a man who elevated the status of offensive linemen around the league. He was a unique individual and unique player. I went to see Pete Maravich perform. I also noticed a Muhammad Ali box. Holy moly. However, I had the honor of playing with him. Ultimately, though, Simpson's murder trial will live on in his memory more than his football accomplishments.